What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management channel. My name is Andrei and today I'm going to be doing an analysis on PLTR stock. And before we get into all of that, if you guys would like to earn two free stocks with Webull valued up to $1850, please check out that link in the description below. All you have to do is sign up for an account, deposit $100 and choose your free stocks. That's it. And let's continue with a brief summary. Palantir Technologies is a holding company which engages in the development of uh, data integration and software solutions. It operates through the commercial and government segments. Its products include Palantir Gotham and Palantir Foundry. And let's continue with their numbers. For now, their total market cap is uh, $36.88 billion. They have a revenue of $1.09 billion with a negative net income of $1.17 billion. They have very good revenue growth of 47.15% and uh, their current ratio is 3.74. And as I already said, uh, this company is very stable from the financial standpoint. But you might be wondering why we have this massive sell-off of this stock. And here is uh, the answer. We are on Investor Place uh, website and uh, this article was published on May the 10th and uh, it's subtitled Here's what's driving tech stocks uh, down today. And let me quote you this paragraph. Heavy selling in high growth areas of the market has driven many high profile tech stocks down in recent days. There is growing concern that US 10-year uh, treasury yields will continue to creep higher amid stronger inflation expectations. This good news is bad news. Reality is one which is not bullish for high growth stocks that have seen their valuations swell amid record low interest rate of late. On top of that, let me show you this article. We are on Investor Place as well and it was published on May the 10th and it's titled PLTR stock. Why is Palantir stock down ahead of earnings? And here is the reason. Today it was reported that the US Department of Defense is considering ending its JD Cloud computing project. This move appears to have uh, shocked PLTR investors, driving a significant portion of today's outsized move. And basically it doesn't relate it exactly to Palantir. Only Amazon and Microsoft are two main bidders of this, of, uh, this contract. But let me quote you this. Specifically, Palantir's business model is based mainly on gaining government uh, contracts for its services. A range of large contracts have been granted to Palantir in recent years. These contracts make up a majority of the company's revenue. Accordingly, investors bullish on Palantir are also bullish on the company's ability to not only keep its existing contracts, but grow its ongoing relationships with the Pentagon and other US government agencies. Today's move by the Pentagon to consider ending this contract is bearish for all such consulting firms interacting with this agency. It appears investors are starting to get the jitters when it comes uh, to the portfolio of uh, business PLTR has right now. So, it's just a fear of uh, losing some new contracts and uh, it, is, it is just a fear of uh, losing the momentum in gaining more profits. And that's why we can see that uh, all tech markets are bleeding right now as you can see and uh, on top of that let me show you that uh, some concerns was uh, driven by this information we are on nasdaq.com and uh, this is pltr insider tra trading activity as you can see alexander karp recently sells bunch of uh, his stocks but also he buys significant amount of uh, Palantir stocks and basically I don't know what is the reason of uh, this activity but let me show you this information. We have the total number of insider shares traded and uh, for the last uh, three months and uh, last 12 months we have the amount of shares bought by insiders significantly higher than shares sold. This means in my opinion this is not a problem for the company. On top of this information, let me show you that uh, institutional investors also has a mixed behavior on uh, this uh, company. We have uh, several red lines. This means this company closed their position on May the 10th. They made these filings. But the uh, majority of companies strongly hold their position, as you can see. And uh, basically, this information also leads us to the conclusion that uh, Palantir has only temporary sell-off. On top of that, let me show you this uh, article. We are on Seeking Alpha and this article was published on May the 10th as well. And uh, it's titled Palantir Highly Favorable Reward to Risk. And uh, I will put the link on this article in the description below. It is quite long, 
but let me show you this. The conclusion. PLTR's stock is going to be driven by a combination of uh, changing total addressable market expectations, high growth and impressive profitability in due course. Currently it looks as though the market is underestimating all of this, so the future looks very bright indeed. And in my opinion, nothing changed fundamentally for this company. This means uh, we can rely on this company as a part of your long-term investment portfolio. On top of that, let me show you their website and we have uh, two recent news made on, uh, Ma on May the 6th and on May the 7th. And it says that US Coast Guard renews partnership with Palantir to fight COVID-19. And second one is uh, Palantir Technologies and the Royal Navy extend contracts. What does it mean in the long term? It means that uh, Palantir still has these customers. On top of that, the acquiring of new customers is much more expensive than uh, renew existing contracts. This means they enhance their profitability in the long term because they don't need to acquire new customers, they just need to make them longer. And on top of that, at least these two partners, they are extremely satisfied with the results of working with Palantir. So, and before we dive deep into the technical analysis, please subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell and hit the like button, it helps me a lot. I made my previous video somewhere at this point and I've told you that we have this formation, this formation it is a symmetrical triangle and uh, my main assumption was that we have to break it to the upside around uh, this uh, date, around uh, May 11th and uh, by the time I will post this video, we will have this earnings report. And uh, from this point, I think we might have some price fluctuation around these levels. And basically my main assumption that we might have a surge in price from this point was wrong. But nevertheless, we have a next level of uh, 0.786 as a potential entry point. And let me mark it for you. Right here we can have a next potential level. And in my opinion, it is nothing but discount of around 20% for this company. And on top of that, let me show you that we have this uh, point is already lower than this one. This means the targets are invalidated for now because we have to have a new lower point of the retracement. And this means this so far is our bottom of the retracement. And uh, let me clean the chart a little bit. And uh, when we'll have uh, more information according to price action, I will do new projections about uh, targets. And with that being said, please subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell and hit the like button. It helps me a lot. See you guys and girls next time. Bye.